Welcome to our 13th video with data structures and algorithms. We're going to talk about recursion trees in this video. So we have a, uh, a function here, t of n, and this represents some sort of a running time. And um, here we can see that we've got some recursion going on. Okay, and we also have a base case, right? If we have recursion, you got to have some sort of a base case. So here's that. Now, how do we figure out what this equals? That's really what we want to do because we can't really analyze this uh, without figuring out what this actually is going to equal, right? So how, uh, using recursion trees, how do we do that? Well, we start from the top, right? T of n. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a tree structure with each of these recursions, if that's a word, I think it is, um, as the nodes, okay, as the child nodes. So for this first one, right, its child nodes will be t of n over 3, right? And we need three of them, t of n over 3, and t of n over 3, right? Because we have three of them here. <clears throat> and I'm going to connect this with the different color to make it stand out. And we continually do that, right? This is a recursion going on here. t of n, oops, give me one second here, let me just get this correct, t of n over 9, right, and t of n over 9, t of n over 9, I'm going to write one over here, t of n over 9, and let me make this more clear what I'm doing, right, dot, 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 all right, cool. So, you can see that for each one of these, right, t of n over something, we have three uh, nodes below it that are t of n over that um, its input divided by three, again. Okay, so let's do one more level here. So we've got t of n over 27 t of n over 27, n over 27, okay, so here's that one, that one, more dots, okay, and we're going to go all the way down, <clears throat> like we said, until we have t of 1, which is our base case, right, or we got to Recursion has to stop somewhere. T of 1. Let me just draw all these crazy dots. Wow. Okay. So now we've got our tree. So what do we do at this point? Well, we have to plug in B of N, right? And for each of these, right, each of these has a term like this. Each one of these t of n over something has the term b of n, okay? So let's just replace these, okay, with b of n, and replace this with b of n over 3. I'm going to replace this one with b of n over 9. You see where I'm going with this here, b, n, b of n over 27. And this should be a b, right? And remember, we have three of these every time as well, right? Three of these uh, recursions every time. So that means there's going to be three here, right? B of n over 3 and B of n over 3. Okay, and there will be three for each one of those three. All right, so we have B of n over 9. We have B of n over 9. And again, b of n over 9. And of course, right, b of n over 27. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. I'm trying to make this very clear as to what we're doing here. Okay, and all of these, again, are being added together, right? They're all being added to this... Uh, 
they're all being summed together. That's all I'm really trying to say. I don't know what else to say about that. Okay. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> so now what? Let's look for a pattern. Okay, so first of all, all of these terms here, I'm going to just, maybe if I can circle these. So we can kind of see them better. I made a poor choice of colors earlier. Okay, and there's a ton of them all in this tree. So we need to add all these things together. So how, do, how can we do that? Well, um, we can find some patterns. They all have a B term, right? So we've got that. They all have an N term, right? An N over something. And in this case, this would be N over one. Okay, so, but we'll take care of that in a second. They all have a, some power of three under here, right? Three to some power, let's call it K. And let me just do it a little bit better. Okay, okay. <clears throat> but also, we have multiple of these, right, in each level, right, at the same time. So you've got b over n over 20, or b times n over 27, b times n over 27, all the way. We have 27 of these here, right? We have three of them for this one, and three for this, and three for that, three for that, on and on, right? So we have some other power of three times that. Okay, so we found a pattern. Now what about this last one, b? How do we get a b out of this? Well, this term would have to be one, and this term would have to be one. <clears throat> right? Actually, this term would have to be n, because we have n of them here. Forgot about that, sorry. So let's try and find um, an n term. So if we just make 3 to the k equal to n, and maybe if I... Uh, make it more clear, we are, we're trying to look for n times b times n over n, okay? That's the idea here. <clears throat> well, if we take the log, right, log base 3 of n should equal to k. So, let's create a summation for ourselves here. So, we've got, right, k is equal to, and we're going to start out at 0, because anything raised to the zero is one. And if I have one here and a one here, that gives me b times n, so that's good. So let's start at zero. And we wanna go up to uh, where we have b. So therefore, three to the k should equal to n. And we said that uh, if three to the k equals n, then k should equal to log base three, log base three of n. <clears throat> and then we plug our uh, little equation in, 3 to the k, n over 3 to the k. All right, let me erase some of this, make some space here. Okay, let's uh, simplify this just a bit. We can factor the b out. All right, k equals 0, log 3 of n. And we have 3 to the k times n over 3 to the k. We can simplify this further okay, by pulling the n out, right? Factoring the n out. Right? n's not changing, it's constant throughout. So k is equal to 0 log 3 of n times 3k times 1 over 3k. And obviously this is equal to one, right? This inner term. So let's simplify this even further. Bn. Sum k equals that, right? Log three of n of one. And I'm just going to grab this and go to a, another layer here because we need some space. All right, let's move that up here. Whoops, sorry for that. There we get rid of that, whoops. Did it again. Okay, so we have this, right? We have one. So let's look at that, right? This should be equal to, right? We'll just do what we were doing before. 
and we will say should be bn times right one plus one plus one plus one plus dot 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 plus one and how many terms here do we have well we have we start from zero and then we count up to log three of n right so we have log base three of n plus one right that's the plus the zeroth time so we have those there, right? And so let's just write that so we can see it a little clearer. Log base three of n, right? Plus one. And remember that this was all part of t of n, right? Let's distribute bn, right, through bn times log 3 of n plus, oh, I just did that. I just said to distribute, didn't I? There we go. Log 3n plus bn. And there we go. We've <clears throat> we've kind of unraveled our recursion, and we came up with a, uh, a function that is um, a function of n, right? And we got rid of our recursive term. I think I just said that like two different ways. Okay, so we can go one step further with this. And by, by, by finding the, the largest term, we can say, right, that t of n is big O n log 3 of n. 